A lecture period, 50 minutes, is close to one microcentury. How long is a microcentury in minutes? Also, using the percentage difference formula, find the percentage difference from the approximation. I find this question kind of funny. I find it kind of funny, the implication that a lecture period could be described with a word as a, uh, relating to a century. I feel like a lot of college students might appreciate that term. Oh, this lecture was so long. It felt like a micro-century in there. But, uh... Let, but uh, this is actually a... Uh, go bang back to simple conversion problem with part A here. So you want to find out how long... We want to find out how long a micro-century actually is. Because 50 minutes is a lecture period, but we want to find the actual value of a micro-century in minutes here. So let's do it. So one micro-century, let's all write it, is going to be equal to how many minutes? Now, as you can see here from the word micro-century, we've got the micro-prefix here, meaning million, or millionth, of, uh, rather. So it's going to be equal to about one-tenth to the negative sixth of an actual century. So it's a millionth of a century, in other words if you hadn't figured that out already. But now we'll try to find a way to convert this into minutes. So let's convert it into years, since 100 years over one century, since there are 100 years in a century. Uh, let's convert this even deeper, so then that's one year in a day, so that's, in, but that's there one year in 365 days, not bad. And uh, I'll have to go down to the next row here. Uh, converting days into hours now, that's for every one day, that's 24 hours. And for every one hour, that's 60 minutes. Now if we plugged in all this into our calculator to get the full conversion, then it will find that one microcentury is actually equal to 52.6 minutes, which is actually really close to 50 minutes. But just how close is it to 50 minutes? Because as part B asks, we want to find the percentage difference between it. And finding percent difference, or sometimes you call it percent error, is a pretty common physics thing, because it shows, it shows roughly in percentage form how close your uh, your value is that you're looking for is uh, to the actual or accepted value, which in this case is going to be 52.6 minutes, because as our conversions show, an actual microcentury is roughly equal to this many minutes. So let's find out how close the approximation to 50 minutes is. So the percentage difference is going to be the actual minus the approximation divided by the actual and that's going to get our percentage. And we could then multiply by 100 to actually get it in a percentage format. So all right then here, that's going to be 52.6 minutes minus just 50 minutes all over 52.6 minutes. And multiply the whole thing by 100 if you want. And the answer we get for that is 4.9%. So wow, that's a, that's a really good approximation. Not even a 5% error between it. Yeah, that is our answer for this lovely little problem here.